Another time that you may want to shorten your swing, especially on the forehand side, is when you're actually looking to set your opponent up with shots. So you see players quite often, uh, Laura Massaro does it, where she actually goes into a front corner with quite a small swing, showing a straight drop shot or threatening for a straight drop shot. Now, what the opponent's looking to do to set you up is they want you to drag across, they want you to cover a drop shot. So when you're doing this, you come in looking as though you're gonna play a drop shot with quite a small swing. You're hoping your opponent is gonna come across with you or, or follow you in, get sucked up in behind. And then because it's on a forehand side, especially, you see the, the player then be able to snap that ball cross court and get the ball past the opponent and where they've just come from. So it means that an opponent is covering and running in straight for a drop shot and all of a sudden that ball is going across them and switching from their forehand, if it's a right hander, across back to the backhand side, which is a very difficult shot to deal with and to recover from. So to do this well, you want to set your opponent up. You might want to actually play a couple of early drop shots in there using that counter drop, which makes the opponent really have to cover it up. And then from there, you look to, to use the snap of the wrist again. You come in, slightly smaller swing. You need the racket head dropping, and the racket head drops because of the snap of the wrist. And then from there, you look again to snap and whip the ball around the corner. Now, one thing technically that you need to think about on the forehand is when you do snap and twist it over, what the racket does want to do is it wants to roll in your hand. And if you roll it too much, you bring the tin into play. So it's important that when you come in and you snap, you do slightly lead with the wrist. So if you watch, my wrist comes in and it actually opens the racket head slightly before I snap it across. And that drop of the wrist with the thumb pointing up again allows the racket angle to open slightly, which then means when I do snap and bring it round, it doesn't roll right over to there, it stays to there, which is enough to keep the ball safe and above the tin, yet for me to be able to punch it aggressively and attack the line of the ball through. So have a go, see if you can start to threaten, show drop shots, drag your opponent across, and then at the last second, use your wrist to snap that ball cross court into the space that you've just opened up.